What you're looking for is my inking template. You double click on it and right away you want to save it as an Adobe Illustrator document so that you don't mess up the original. This is SpongeBob Bubblegum and it's, so it's SBGum-WIP which is work in progress 01. And I do that because I'm going to save probably about 15 or 20 versions of this just to allow me to backtrack. I'm going to click Save as an Adobe Illustrator document. You have these other choices, but this is the one you want to save it as. Click Save. These are the choices that I use all the time. I don't really think about it. Just press OK. And just double check your new file name right there. SBGUM WIP01. You can call it whatever you want to. So this template already comes pre programmed with a couple of layers. One of them is what I call a greenback. I use this so I can see when I've used whiteout uh, because whiteout against a white background you can't see anything. With this eye you can click the eye to show it or to hide it. You can also click this lock to lock it or unlock it. I keep these locked because I don't want to change them. So the first thing we want to do is to import our pencil drawing. So what we're going to do is create a new layer by pressing on this box here. You can see it says create new layer. And then I'll go up to file and place. And then you're going to look for your pencil drawing that you want to import to trace from. This PSD file is uh, what I'm going to be working from so I'll just choose this one. Once I choose that click template here and then press place. You're going to see a little preview of it. These are the options that I usually choose. I press OK and now right here right underneath the new layer that I chose it imported something called template SBGUM and you can see this logo looks a little bit different. It says that it toggles visibility just like the eyeball does but since this is a template, the file isn't actually here. Uh, it's just kind of a link to it. So I can now resize this. I'm going to press Command minus to get this a little bit smaller. I'm going to unlock this template because I need and press the V key. And the V key will let me move. If I want to shrink it now, I'm going to press the Shift key and then squeeze it down a little bit. I just want to make sure that I have plenty of room uh, around the characters to draw everything I want to draw. So again, shift and uh, transform. And when you're all done transforming it, just tap the screen to deselect it. And when it's deselected, press that lock there. And now everything in here is locked so that you can make all the mistakes that you want and it's not going to move it. That can be really frustrating. Lastly, what you can do with this template is if you double click on the template, you'll get some choices here. You can choose the color of the bounding box so that you can identify it. You can choose to dim the images, and I usually do to about 30%. And I press OK, and you can see it gets even more faded than it is right now. So now this layer is the layer that we're going to be inking on. If you'd like to change the name, you can double tap on it and give it something descriptive like inking which will really help. Um, not exactly sure what all these are but these are the settings that I always use and it works out just fine for me. So I'm going to press OK. You can see it says inking. Everything else is locked and now we are ready to start.